For Kruma Media's Polity, I'm Tabi Madiba. Joining me today is researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack his column titled Eguruleni Mayoral Elections. So are you not exaggerating the importance of the re-election of the DA Eguruleni Mayor, Tanya Campbell? Since the 2021 elections, there's been lots of turnovers of metro and local government parties in power and mayors and things like that. So that the fact that there's been a change is not necessarily important in itself. But what I think this uh, election points to is the dangers that lie ahead. And they can't be remedied by textbooks about coalitions, which are being quoted to us by scholars, you know, that they tell us that in Denmark they did this, in Germany they, they did that. South Africa is different. You don't have a tradition of coalitions. You don't have a tradition of cooperation between these parties. You don't have a common program and all of that. Now, in this situation, it really reduces itself to numbers, not to uh, whether you believe in the same things, whether they have integrity and all this thing, doesn't matter. It's just, can you have 101 if 101 is needed? And what happened in Ikuruleni is that ANC was the strongest party. Uh, they were meeting with the EFF and they couldn't come to an agreement because the EFF wanted their person as mayor. And consequently, the DA came in with the EFF voting secretly by secret ballot for the DA. And I think it's got a lot of importance because all indications seem to be that the ANC is going to get under 50% at the end of the year. This Brenters survey, which is in the Daily Maverick, also forecasts that. And they also say that most people want a coalition government. But I don't, myself, I can't see why you should want a coalition government, because what it means is whoever comes into power at the next election, 2024, can easily come into power, but then be kicked out the next week, because it depends what the margin is behind those in power, and whether they have shared portfolios with whoever comes into power. But if they have one or two parties, let's say they have the patriotic front or something like that with them, patriotic fronts will have no qualms about simply dumping them. And then there's a crisis. And the crisis isn't just located in a metro like Ekuruleni. And it's caused problem in Ekuruleni. I live in Ekuruleni, but there's problems with collecting rubbish the whole period when there wasn't a mayor, a, a mayor elected, the rubbish wasn't collected in some parts. But now at a national level, it's much more serious. So I think that what the Ikuruleni election points to is the fragility of our future. And the DA now controls Ikuruleni, and you speak of this as a defeat for the ANC. But the DA may be turned out next week. Yes, that is the the problem with coalitions now. So that I, if I were surveyed, I wouldn't say I'm in favour of coalition. I would say a coalition may be inevitable in the next elections. How can you make a coalition that is meaningful, where people do deliver uh, what people want and what they promise? Now, since they don't do it when they're on their own, will they do it if they've got a partnership? And it really depends who they are partnering with. There's no indication that the EFF is any more dedicated to delivering than the ANC, but they've never been in power. We don't know. But from what they do, they flip-flop all the time anyway. So I think the DA can be kicked out. And for all we know, it can happen in the next month or so. And we don't know what's going to happen in Johannesburg. Maybe uh, Palazzi remains mayor. Maybe she's kicked out. And lastly, Raymond, why do you see these metro elections as significant for national power? Well, I've been 
suggesting it in my earlier remarks that it's a curtain raiser for the next elections in 2024, where the same issues are going to arise unless the ANC gets over 50%, and it seems very unlikely at the moment. And if that is the case, it's got to shop around for a partner. And the most stable partner could well be the DA, although I don't know if that will come about. If it's with the EFF, it has the possibility of encouraging the the so-called radical economic transformation people and the looting will probably increase. So that I think what happened in Ikuruleni points to problems in 2024, although the scale of the problems will be much greater because we're talking about national government. And also, you're not dealing with just one section of the ANC or the DA, but you've got the whole lot. And it may be that if they get a stable agreement with the DA, along the lines that these scholars are suggesting that they agree on this and they agree on that, but it's going to be very difficult for the NC and DA to agree. But that would be the most stable coalition, in my view. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Krima Media's Polity about Eguruleni mayoral elections.